Okay, so for a lot of us, this is the closest we've ever been to a printing press. We type something out on our computer and it shows up here on the printer. But there's a whole history of the printing press that includes steam. So we're going to take a bit of a serious look at that today here on Steam Culture. Well, you may remember from history class, in 1440, Johannes Gutenberg gave us the first printing press when he made his flat press, based on basically like wine press technology where you, you know, crank down on this thing and it's in a bit of a corkscrew. And the first printed uh, item was the Bible. And this started a whole cultural uh, phenomenon as ideas that were passed by word of mouth sort of handwriting some documents could now be mass produced. So the proliferation of knowledge and ideas really began with Gutenberg's printing press. So we're going to make a leap from 1440 to the 1800s when the first steam powered press came into play. Now it was still based on that flat press technology where you were pressing down on a printing plate, but uh, Friedrich Koenig in 1810, a German, made it on a cylinder. So the cylinder would roll over those printing plates, but the cylinder was powered by a steam engine. So we could now produce a couple thousand pages a day. Well, in 1843, an American by the name of Richard Ho created the first steam-powered rotary press. So he upped the game a little bit, and what he did is he put the printing plate in the cylinder. So now the paper could be continuously fed as the cylinder continuously ran, and we went from printing a couple thousand pages a day to millions of pages a day. So there you have it. From Gutenberg's printing press to the invention of the steam engine to the steam-powered ordering press, we're now printing off millions of sheets a day and a real jump in industrial printing. Thanks for joining us this week on this episode Find us on social media because we're everywhere and come back here next Friday. I'll have a new episode for you. I'll see you then.